At the age when our forefather Abraham first concluded that there must be a creator, a child begins to truly learn and develop a real love for Hashem, Torah, prayers, giving charity, and doing mitzvah. For a Jewish boy, this transition is marked with a ceremony. It is an age-old custom to allow a boy's hair to grow untouched until he's three years old. On his third Jewish birthday, family and friends are invited to a haircutting ceremony called an upshurnish. The child's payas, biblically mandated side locks, are left intact, the initiation into his first mitzvah. From this point on, the child begins to wear a kippah, tzitzit, and is taught to recite blessings in the Shema. On December 5, 2012, the Greenberg family celebrated the upshurnish of Mayor Greenberg. Happy birthday, Mayor! Shirochadoshoshipugayunim <laughs> So three years ago today, we were very fortunate. God gave us a very special gift. And we we're very fortunate to be able to celebrate the formal introduction into mayor's education. And on the third birthday, that's when we bring them into the formal Jewish education. So we cut their hair for the first time, just like we cut the fruits for the first time on the third birthday. It's also a very ancient custom. Uh, so we'll begin with reading the Rebbe's letter. First, we're going to bring in, it's customary to, to bring him in, to, in a palace. He doesn't see anything around. You throw candies, you have candy? This is a letter the Rebbe would send to every child, to every parent of a child when they would reach the uh, age of Upshanish. Shalom Uvracha. Bimayna al Haida, at the Siam Hiletis Hashlisha Shobnam Shayichia. Hini Mortak, Lakaman, Chelek, and Michtav, Kratish, Shusmericham Admar, Sechatak, Kedish Lavrachal, Chahil Mabanish, must begin the Bremens, Chisiogan Alainu, Benigail, and Menhagi Israel Baza. We are at Saint Mashemis Barak, she a godly, be Achim Zagositichia, Latera, or Lachupa, Lamaisim Tevim, Mitecher Chava. Be Bracha, the Simis Yarkachi of the Rebbe. Vizel Loshin Kwekdish is my Homer Admar. O Bidvar Gziza Sasiris, Absharnish, who dover Godel, be Minig Israel. We ekre who Bahachinuk to Hashar's Paris Hares. O Miam, Hagziza, Hanachas, Apeis. Al Haresh, Nogu, Lahadil, Hargal, Satinik, Binyanis, is Tylus Cotton, or Birchas Shachar, Birchas Hamazin, Bukhish Mashalamita. Bashem is Barach, Yer Beezram, she got Lu, the Tedo, the Hupal, my Sim Tavim, Tech Parnosa, Baharchava, Ubamnuchas Hadas, Begashmi, Subaruchnis. Greetings and blessing. Response to the notification of your son's upcoming third birthday. I am attaching an excerpt from a letter from my revered father in law and teacher, the Rebbe with regard to the Jewish custom at that time. May it be God's will that you and your wife raise him, enable him to attain Torah, marriage, and good deeds amidst prosperity, with blessing and the Rebbe's signature. And this is the quote from my revered father-in-law and teacher, the Rebbe. With regard to a child's first haircut, the Upsharanish, it is a matter of great significance among the customs of the Jewish people. Its essential purpose is to train the child to leave payas, and from the day of the haircut, when the payas are left, it is customary to carefully train the child to wear a talus cotton. And to recite the morning blessings, the grace after meals, and the Shema before retiring. May God assist you to raise your child to attain Torah, marriage, and good deeds amidst abundant sustenance and peace of mind in both material and spiritual matters. Thank you. I'd like to call upon my father-in-law who came all the way from Brooklyn to cut the hair of uh, Mayor. He's 
going to learn the Aleph Beis for the first time. He knows Aleph Beis. He knows Aleph Beis, but he's going to repeat the Aleph Beis. And it's customary to uh, cover the Aleph Beis with honey. And that way when the child learns the Aleph, he licks off the honey on top of the Aleph and so on and so forth from every letter. And that's to, to teach us that the letters of the Torah are sweet like honey. And every time we uh, learn part of Torah or perform a mitzvah, it's not just something that's there as a yoke, but it's something sweet, it's something so enjoyable that's really a pleasure. Every time we do, uh, we study Torah, it's really not just a spiritual pleasure, but it's a physical pleasure as well. That's my father-in-law to, 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 to show him the first Aleph. Where's Aleph? Yeah. I'll say Aleph. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, please repeat after Mayor. He's going to say, he's going to say the verse of Torah Tziva. Torah. Everybody, come take a sniff. My father-in-law, wow. like that's my father to come, and my brother-in-law came all the way from Brooklyn. Thank uh, Shalom and Sherry for coming all the way from Brooklyn for the special occasion. <laughs>